How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazastro and today we're going to be playing Timberborn. I mean, we had to do it. I've been playing this game on the side and absolutely loving it. So, basically, Timberborn is a game that is centred around beavers. I've got you on the hook already, I know. Humans used to rule the world, but their greed for resources it led to their downfall, party people. There are two factions in the game, Folktales and Iron Teeth. Iron Teeth we haven't unlocked yet, so we'll be doing our playthrough on Folktales. And they're basically the more, what, Timberpunk style of gameplay. Uh, environmentally friendly, that sort of stuff. Where, when we unlock the Iron Teeth, I suppose they're more, well, iron based. You know, the clues and the name party beep. And environmentally more destructive sounds fun so we'll play on folk tales we'll play on recommended uh map and the recommended difficulty if i get to handle with the game maybe we can do some more extreme things but let's learn to play the game first here we have it so the first thing we have to do is come up with a name for our settlement i think we have to go with damn good i know really original eh? And then we go, we see all our beavers come out and they're ready to work for us, which is absolutely awesome. So party people, as we look around, this is our little area that we start with. Now, for people that don't know this game, basically the gameplay loop is you have this river and every seven or however many days you get a drought which dries up the river. In effect, all this luscious green fertile grass then goes to this um, dried up excuse of land. And basically means you can't grow, therefore that you might starve, you can't get water. You, um, I nearly said you'll drown. <laughs> but basically then they won't be able to eat, they won't be able to drink, and then they will die. And that's our main resources, the main gameplay loop. And we have numerous other things that we can do down here to build dams, to stop that happening, and so and so forth. So, the game is basically built off of keeping water up at the top, keeping food, and then your foot or your logs are your main three things that you have to focus on. You can see over here we start with eight beavers and four children. And then if you hover over this at the top left hand corner, you can see we have two workers, six unemployed. I don't really know what the workers are doing, but let's just let's just give them a clap and just pretend they're doing something. So I've disabled the tutorial because I sort of did that on the side when I was playing. So there's not much else but to get started, party people. So the first thing we're going to do is build a little pretty um, path because I do like a pretty base. And I like the idea of this building being like the main building that everything pours out from. I think that could be quite cool. So the first thing we need to do to actually be able to build anything is probably get some woodcutters huts up. So I think we're going to start with, let's go to Umberjack, and we're probably going to get three straight off the bat here. And then what we do is when we unpause, hopefully the beavers don't put me to shame, you can see they get to their jobs. They will then build this or build whatever building they're doing, and then they will go to work. However, to get them to actually cut the trees, if I pause, we have to then queue up the zone. So all these trees I'm happy to cut. And then that's a good, good start. We also have some trees over here, which will be really good. We've got some birch trees over here. What's the difference? Pine trees we can get uh, pine resin from. Okay. And over here we've got oak trees. So that's a good start to then cut them. And I like that. Then the next thing we're going to have to focus on is getting some water. So I'm probably going to bring the same path down. We'll bring it all the way down. Go to water at the bottom and get our water pump up. Um, I think one will probably do it for the time being. And then you just need a path to the beginning of the building, which is there. And that is not a bad start, although that half there is going to really frustrate me. But to be fair, we can put the water storage down there like a pretty pace pipe. Right, then the next thing is going to be... I 
food. <laughs> I was like sitting there for a minute like, hmm, the other important thing that I probably already mentioned. So at the moment, we can't grow anything. That will change shortly. However, we do have these yummy, jummy, bubbly berry bushes. So I'm going to do the same thing down here. A path here. And I want the gathering building in between because when you go to put it, you can see the blue area there highlights. So I'd like to get both these areas in the same spot. Probably put it there. We do have some more berry bushes up there, but for the time being, that's going to be absolutely fine. So, we're still on speed one. As you can see, our beavers are doing good work, which is nice. So then, if you click on the stockpiles, they will hold only 20 amounts of logs, which isn't really going to cut the mustard long term. So, I think the first thing is we're going to need stockpiles. One for the berries, and then two for the logs. We can also hover over here to see we've got three unemployed beavers at the moment. So they're not very eager beavers whatsoever, are they? Oh, and another thing. We can deconstruct this. So we'll demolish that. Set that for demolishing. And then the water will funnel through here, meaning some more of this will go uh, fertile. Because the stockpiles, I'd prefer them not to sit on this lovely fertile grass because we want this for growing trees, growing crops, and that sort of stuff. and all the busy beavers. We have got one unemployed. So I'm gonna... Right, so there we go. And then we can see the river pouring in. And these are basically the physics of the game. It's all about water and how you can control it and whatnot. So we have some big, big plans. I'm not saying I'm a genius by any stretch of the imagination, but we like to have fun. And then all of this is suddenly fertile, which is awesome, awesome, awesome for us. So, the next things that we need to do is if we click on a beaver, we can basically see its needs. So, it's not liking that we haven't got shelter. Now, I would have preferred all the shelter on all the unfertile grass. We could maybe perhaps see if we can do something behind here. If I go to pause. It's just going to be a little bit awkward. So I might try and push the houses here. Then I would like... Is I'd like two spaces because we will want to build stairs up. Eventually. But let's just have a look what this looks like. Because then you can build on top of the buildings as well. We do something like that. And then I suppose the stairs can come here. Yeah. No, they're probably going to need two spaces behind. Uh, deconstruct. Can I just drag? Oh, that's nuts. Yeah, destroy it. So I'm probably just going to build the houses here then and not worry too, too much about that then. Just sort of maybe we can relocate them in the future. Um, I would like other things there. Let's go. How's that? Then we want two spaces. Actually, I need to do the other way. Sorry, I'm being indecisive. Get used to it, buddy people. Because if you see, the doors come out at different angles. So what I would like by building two by two, hurrah, hurrah, is then with the paths... I turn the camera. We build the path like that. Then I can have stairs here eventually leading up. And then we can do the same the other side. So then we can start just getting the houses on top of each other. Which I think is going to look very, very tasty. Six will do for the time being. And then we'll see how the beavers are loving that. So all the wood that has been stored in here. They will grab as we can see there. Look at them. Look at it. Tell me this is not the best game you've ever seen, party people. I love it. I love it. And then we just let them get to work. And you can see they're getting water and stuff like that. And they will go to the berries because they will store a little bit. So we are going to need more storage. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down here, storage, and get two water tanks. I've got one beaver that has not, did not go into work. 
And we'll just get three for the time being. And that should be okay. We've still got loads of room for growing and stuff like that, which will be really, really nice. Which we will have to prioritize. But easy does it. The thing is, we've got one beaver that's not really doing anything, so we could get the farmhouse up now. Bothers me how that's off by just like one. So we'll get the farmhouse there, and then that will allow us to grow stuff. It's going to speed two. And then we're going to see all the beavers sleeping on the floor. Because they haven't got their homes built yet. Like they're just trying to get comfortable, you know, when like a dog gets in a bed and it keeps going around in a circle, like trying to get cozy. That's what it is. I'm sure of it. Look at them snoring. And also up how much they work in a day over here. I haven't really played with that too much. Then you can see the cycle, the day, and then underneath the weather and the forecast. So I imagine later down the line, maybe we can get something that can try and predict when droughts are going to come. That would be very interesting. We will have to wait and see. One thing at a time. If we get the houses, then we can produce more beavers and stuff like that. We do need to be aware, obviously, a drought is coming. Have we got any wood in the storage? So we've got ten there. So we've got a fair amount. I would like some of this to be built before we go to Cray Cray. Let's go speed three. Like one of the house look, one of the houses has got done. That's nice. I like that. That I love. I absolutely love. Go, okay, and then we hover over the second one over here. We can see occupied bed six, homeless six. It's just changed, so hopefully they will be homeless no more. And then you can see these icons coming above their heads. That means they're thirsty. We are working on getting the water storage up. They will go get a drink. I'd like some wood storage as well. I'd want the wood storage where we're going to put like the industry. Might we have to might have to worry about that down the line. In all honesty, so we pause the game. I oh, would actually have to, but our beavers are happier than ever. I mean. Why would they not be? I think at the high score 15 or 12 is when we unlock the next beavers and stuff like that. But it's a long way. Like if I pause, click on one of these beavers, you have to get a lot of things happy, a lot of different things to actually get them. I'm pleased with what we're doing. And equally, we've got a lot of things we can unlock, which I like because the game shows us very clearly what we need. Logs, planks, metal, etc. And then right at the bottom in the red is the science points. So the science buildings are going to be hella important. And that is going to be my next plan, hopefully, after we can get this farmhouse up. And we'll get some carrots, just because carrots are very, very quick. Because some of the food does require cooking and stuff like that. Where carrots, luckily, they just eat raw. So we're just getting prepared because a drought will always be coming. That impending doom will always be upon us. Have we got any homeless? No, we've got six free beds, though. Is there a campfire? I wonder if that will get the beavers in the mood. So I'm going to build a path off that. Eventually, we'll be able to get up here with stairs and whatnot, but we haven't done that yet. Uh, what I'd like to do is build a campfire. And then hopefully that might get the beavers in the mood. In the mood to groove. Right, we pause. So we got three workers. If we hover over this, we currently have ten workers. All are actually in work. They don't have any work in range. So what we would like to do is plant some carrots. We don't need to go too crazy here. So something like that I think will be absolutely fine. And there we go. What a lovely little game. I like all the nuances of seeing like the water fill up in the buckets and whatnot. See the crops always done. I really, really like it visually. It's a very, very pleasing game, I have to say. I found this game incredibly addictive. Right, the problem that we have got is we can see these woodcutters here 
slackers are not working. So what we can actually do is click on these buildings and at the top just pause them. Uh, no, not you. Uh, is there any wood in stock? There is no wood in stock over here. There are some trees down here. So I can probably build a path. One bush is a... Rid of that one bush. Then what I would like to do... As you can tell, wood is going to be pretty important to everything we do. So not having that is pretty impactful. Then I'm going to build two down here and queue up these trees to be cut. These trees will probably get removed long term. And our industry is probably going to be down here. Probably makes more sense to have our industry, like, up here or something like that. I'm currently not intelligent enough to learn how to do that in this game, so we're sort of learning together. I have, like, a very basic understanding of the game. Everything else is we're going to be learning together. This is what I love about the game. It's so visual. So when the berries are harvested, they go in a little berry box. Very, very good. Um, also, we are going to need stockpile for our berries and our logs, which we're not doing. To be fair, we don't where well, we have two logs, four logs at the top. So it's probably not even worth worrying about that for the moment. There we go. Simple beginnings, humble beginnings, but a beginning nevertheless. We do have two beavers that are not working. So I am going to Right, we're getting logs already. So I would like to get the science building up as quickly as possible. Because this generates the science points that we can unlock anything fun. Um, yeah, I'll put the first one there. Eventually we'll then get an... Oh, send that. I might want the stockpile there. So I'm actually going to... I can find the button. Don't put that there. First science building there. Because we're going to want the wood stockpile there really, aren't we? this is going to be the main place we're going to put trees because eventually we'll be able to unlock the forester or 60 points if you see right right at the bottom in red currently we have no science points but we get the science building up that we just placed and then that will generate us points and the quicker we do that then we can start growing trees which i think early on it's more important growing trees than really food like well, you don't have to grow much food in this game to sort of um, survive early on. See, late on, I imagine that's going to change it drastically. Right, how are we getting on for logs? We've got a fair amount of logs. I did want my industry down here. Is it going to make more sense to put our log piles down here? Because then the next plan is we're going to want uh, lumber mills. And we're going to power them with water wheels which i'm planning to do like across here just because then that's a nice three by three they do slow down the river so we will have to be careful with that but that is currently the plan and then either at the end of this episode might not be with how slow we're doing we would like a dam across here to basically try and hold the water in this river and then long term we will want a big dam up here so then be able to trickle the water down here a bit slower. But when we see a drought, you'll be able to understand like how it works and whatnot for people who don't play the game. Right, so the wood's coming in. Problem is, I'm not going to want this wood here long term. This is the problem. I'm too indecisive with games. Right, the first thing we should do... Let's get another path behind here. And I think we'll have some stockpiles for food behind here. So we'll get one in. Click on here. We will assign it to... Oh, pardon, my description. We will assign it for the time being to berries. Then we're going to get another one beside it for carrots. Should have probably made a gap here. So we could get around. Might destroy this to do it. 
Yeah. This is sort of a misplay. Luckily you get some, if not all the resources back. If I destroy this building, not that we built it yet, we get a medium warehouse here and here. And I'd like that well being through. Too indecisive. Where are we going to put the next science? Ah, it's actually, to be fair, it'll still work here, won't it? We put it there right next to the houses. I like that. Yeah, then we'll have this one for berries. And then this one for carrots. Used to the boot. It was a 300. I'm not wasting resources. Carrots, berries. Okay, there we go. Right, just pretend none of that happened, party people, okay? Right, all the trees down here are cut. All the trees, some of them are coming back. These are high. Got two workers that are not doing. I'd like to get across here as quickly as we can. Beavers can swim, so we can just do paths down to the bottom, or stairs down to the bottom, but we haven't got stairs um, unlocked yet. So let's pause these buildings. Let's unpause these and see if we can get some blocks. Speed free. Yeah, for the time being, I'm going to put the log stockpile. If I put it there, is there room for another science building there? Yes, okay, then that'll be a good start. And that'll be the way up to here if we can get up there. And then we can do a bit of reshuffling down the line. So then we'll go speed free, because I would like to get the stockpile for the wood up. Let's make sure that it's collecting wood. Very nice. And we continue to go. The drought will be coming soon. Obviously, we hope to get a harvest. The nice thing is, is we can click on the farmhouse and prioritize harvesting if it gets um, if it gets to that point. There we go. Look, they're enjoying life. They're loving life. Gotta love it. Three words for you. Treat, yo, sell. Okay. So the berries, no goods. No carrots, no berries at the moment. It's not all. Oh, we have got 30 science points. The next priority that I would like to unlock is the forester at 60. Uh, pause. What's the matter with you? You're starving. Awkward. No, no, no. They're fine. Fine. Yeah, there is a couple of berries. How long until the... Okay, luckily we can see here, it's like a very visual game, I have to admit, I love it. Just shows you very clearly here how long until then you get three carrots per squat. And the carrots we can eat raw. We have got a lot of wood. Which actually leads me to think we should get the dam up now. I think... I think what else we could need? The food is coming, so then that will be okay. So yeah, I think we get the dam up now. I don't know how far we're going to want to build it up. Be there. To get rid of some trees. Oh, luckily they already go. Um, okay, we'll build it there just because then it doesn't impact. So then we come down. Which part is it? This one here. We're on a dam. So. Blocks water, but allows some to pass through a slipway on the top. So that's what we would like. This is going to be very, very expensive. If we've got some points, I'd like to go to pathing. Ah, we haven't got enough stairs yet. Okay. So as we see, each dam wants 20 logs, which is a lot. And then it will just hold the water up here. So then we can still pump water. The water will naturally 
like disperse from here even if we hold it with dams so later on we're going to want a mega dam up here that then just releases it into our water slowly and it's very fun party people there we go the carrot harvest is here rejoice hot damn rejoice look beavers are happier than ever you heard it here fast of course they are of course they are right it's very very nice and in the storage at the moment but that's fine i'm not nervous you're nervous and they're just getting eaten the minute they're done we're sort of saving up enough science points to get the forester so i will get another science place up now so we'll get that up i've got one beaver that is not working so hopefully then they, we can put them to work in the science place and then the next priority is going to be getting more houses get the grill because the next thing we'll grow is potatoes i didn't want to do potatoes yet just because until the dam's up obviously if this all droughts then all of this is not fertile and is going to go out so i hope you're enjoying the game i like a good base builder party people you know me and one with beavers you're damn sure I weren't going to miss this one. Right, so the trees are gone. We haven't got stairs to get across yet. We will have to build stairs to get across. And there's lots of yummy trees over here that we can eat. And the forester. How many points till the forester? We can unlock the forester. So this is a big one for us. Right. Again, we can see the zone that it's going to cover. I'd like it to cover something like I'm basically moving the blue zone what I would like is not all of this because this is going to get hit by the drought but the majority of this bit won't so I want to make sure as much of this is covered by the forest as that little blue too much in it just how far up we want we don't really mind so anywhere sort of here is fine build it there we go what uh what do we need to build this oh i didn't look we need lengths okay this is where it gets fun very very quick so we are going to be getting rid I unpause that. So we need planks, so that building is not going to get built. This is where the game gets fun, because now you need the, all the resources and whatnot. Might just allow these, because we do have the workers, even if they're just sitting. Don't think we're going to have enough resources to get the dam up, sadly. Right, so these trees... Don't want them all gone. Some of them need to go. So I would like to get our lumber mill up here. Because the plan, like we said early on, is to get the water wheel too far from any district. So that's fine, we'll build a path down here in a minute. There we go. We'll build the water wheel there. Which then, off of it, you can build like crankshafts and stuff like that. So the idea is to have three coming down here and then we can power up all our industry buildings that can then be alongside here. So we're probably going to want for the time being to deconstruct all these trees. I'm sorry trees. I'm sorry. And then equally some trees are up. One beaver not working. Hopefully change once we get the lumber mill. And then you can see our buildings are actually stockpiling food. With like the little boxes of carrots, the little boxes of berries. Very, very cool. 13 beavers. They will die of old age and stuff like that as well. So you always have to be uh, reproducing. I will pause that building. Pause that building. Uh, the dam might actually get up in time, you know. Still only 40 more logs though. And then because we haven't got the stairs unlocked. How many points do we need for stairs? 70. 
can actually use the top of the dam as a path. Click path. Go. Which will lead us to be able to cut the trees over here. So that's important for us. Actually, not a bad start party, people. I'm happy with this start. Obviously, I forgot that that needed planks. So actually, what I'll do in here is... Construction, the priority. I'm going to double arrow it. So it's like, just don't... Is that building? Yeah, construction. Like, don't worry about it too much. We need to put... Oh, that needs 50 logs. Yeah, this is the point where we're going to struggle for a bit of wood. What was that alarm? Oh, the beavers are happy, even if I'm panicking. I need one more block. 19 more logs to get that sorted. To be fair, probably the plan then should be... To build path up to these stairs. I go deconstruct that woodcutter's heart. That woodcutter's heart. I didn't check if they had resources. Is that important? Then we will build one, two, path, please. Come on. Okay, that's it. We'll build woodcutter's up here. Okay, there we go. So, that little doot doot doot. If we hover over to our weather in three days. A drought is incoming. So, I think we've done well. That dam should be up. I don't know if it's going to work like this. I don't know if it needs that square. But this actually might already work. So, fingers crossed, party people. But we're going to come up here. And I'm going to queue all these trees to cut. So, these are dead trees. So, I don't. they won't grow back. I'm sure if I click on them, it will tell me. Yeah, it just says, oh, it died. It's fine, but there are lots of trees up here that we can cut. So let's queue them all up. I love this drag and click. It's so good. Go at speed free. So they'll start to be cut. That'll be nice. Get rid of them. We have woodcutters down here that are not doing anything. So I'm happy to pause all of these. Actually, if I come out of this, I'm happy to actually build another one over here. Just to get that wood in all lickety quick. The berries here, nothing to work on. We have got some berries over there. They will get hit by the drought. So there's no point going to rush to grab them. And I think we've got enough food. I think we've got enough food as I literally looked and no food. But no, 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 but the dam is up. Fingers crossed. So we should be okay. We have got four beavers that are not working. So I suppose then the plan is to ignore what I previously said. Destroy them two trees. Get a gathering spot up here to just grab them berries. Because actually we're running out of food vastly quick. So what I will also do is just expand the carrots like that. We'll get more food up as well. Going to potatoes and cooking and stuff like that. So we've got a plan and then in two days the drought is coming. And I actually think we've had a strong start of the episode and the beavers are loving life. They're loving life. I told them they have to love life so hopefully they will. If you got to this part of the video leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. Now catch you next time, bye people. Bye.